All right, welcome back to another lab. We're going to be doing uh, lab 4.5.6, create host record. So we're going to be, we're an IT administrator for a small corporate network, and we have two servers and a DNS server that uses a static IP address and the 192.168.0.0 or slash 24 subnet, and we plan to install three more servers soon, and we're going to need to create some DNS records for these servers on the Corp DC server. So in this lab, we are tasked with creating a primary reverse lookup zone for that subnet. And then we're going to create some A records and pointer records under the corpnet.local for the following host. All right, so let's start that lab. So first question, what is a reverse lookup zone? Well, it is used to map an IP address back to its corresponding host name. It's the reverse of a regular DNS lookup. This allows for the reversed DNS lookups where the client or the server can query uh, DNS to find the domain name associated with a specific IP address. So the, the pointer records for the reverse lookup zone are used to store the mappings from an IP address back to the host name. So store the mappings, a pointer record. And then we have our A record, which is also known as an address record, which helps map a host to a specific IP address. All right, so let's get going. Here we go. We're gonna launch Corp Server. We're gonna open up Corp DC. Gonna expand that, and then we're gonna to go to our DNS server, because that's where we're doing all this magic. So tools, and we're gonna to go to DNS, and then we're gonna to go to Corp DC and drop down. First, we're gonna look at our forwarding lookup zones, which what we have currently under our corpnet.local. And I see server two, but I don't see any of these. I don't see any of those addresses there. So I do see corp DC 10, 12, but not zero 12. All right, so we need to add those as well. So, but first off, let's go ahead and do that reverse lookup zone. And we're going to right click. We're going to click on reverse lookup zone. Right click in this area. Say new zone. Click next. It's going to be a primary zone. We're going to say to all running on the domain controllers. We're going to say IPv4. And then we're going to put in that address. The 0 0.0.192.168.0. And then click next. And then allow. And then finish. All right. So now the reversed lookup zone is taken care of. So we don't have to worry about that. We're going to go back to our forwarding lookup zones, and then we're going to go to our corpnet.local, and this is where the A records are going to be placed. So we're going to right-click in this area, and then we're going to say new A record, and I'm just going to copy and paste from our lab here. Copy that. Copy this address. Control-C, Control-V, and we're going to create a pointer record there. Say add a host and say OK. Then we're going to add corp16, Control-C, Control-V. Control C, Control V, and then 12, Control C, and then Control C, Control V, done. And then one more, two more, Control C, Control V, 14, Control C, Control V, paste, done. And can, corp, corp web, control C and 15, control C, control V, contr and we should have all of our A records in. I'm gonna hit done and let's just compare. Let's, we, got, we got our server right here. We got 16, we got 12 DCP, our web, and that should be everything that we go are going to need for our A records. We have our reverse lookup zone for the 192.168.0.0 network, and that should be everything. So let's hit score that lab. And well, bam, six out of six, 100%. All right, see me for the next one.